All right. That should be good. Let me know if background audio is a little loud, but that should be fine, I think. Route 28, we're here. The final routes of the game before red. There's technically encounters here, but we're just gonna repel through. I don't really care at this point. Oh, they're gonna kill me! It's good? Okay, thank you. I didn't realize there was a Pokemon Center here. Uh, I guess we could technically get strength off of Hariyamba, but I actually might want to keep it on there as a Charizard um, answer. Because out of everything on the prep, I don't have like a super direct answer for Charizard, but I think I have enough answers spread out around my team that I should be able to deal with them. Had this TM for flamethrower for fucking forever, but sure. We've also had unlimited rare candies for forever, but sure. <laughs> Thank you, man. That bread went extra crazy. Whoo, oh. Mount Silver Cave. Okay. Yo, listen to the bass in this song. Jesus. I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually remember how to get through Mount Silver. So we might be meandering for a bit. I guess I should technically get a final encounter. Okay. Maybe we can do that after red to celebrate. There's another TM for Stealth Rock? I didn't even have to go hunting for it? Okay. I don't actually know if I can catch Mischievous here, honestly. We can, I, we can look at the encounters and stuff after, but honestly I feel pretty good about this team specifically, so... Okay, let's assume it's the most fucking annoying way to get through this. It probably is. No. Good Pokemon design, basically. Yeah, honestly, this is building up a lot of uh, dramatic tension for this fight, for sure. Not that it needed more dramatic tension, but, you know. Oh, it's getting snowy. Okay, 
Um, I'm gonna try to go in the cave first, but I might need a rock climb right there. Oh no, it's on me! Okay, I assume I have to rock climb right here. Um, nice pick a path game, thank you. Let's go middle. Let's go, we guessed. the big climb up Whew. preview over again because i think we're back um we have a pout on level everything's level 90 by the way uh, because that's the average level of red's team i didn't want to level all the way up to 94 although i probably if i don't know i think level 90 is fine we did all of our calcs at level 90 and stuff so it should be okay uh, but basically, Hepatons here to bait grass knots and set the sand instead of the hail to be able to lessen the impact of Blizzard in this fight. Um, and basically, between Hepaton, Dragonite, and Charizard, I should be able to stall Pikachu out of Thunders and Grass Knots. Um, mainly trying to pivot into Dragonite because Dragonite has leftovers to be able to uh, counteract the chip damage. Um, but if I need to pivot into Charizard, I'm able to. And Charizard technically outspeeds apparently. Um, if Pikachu is not a plus speed nature, so if I absolutely have to, I can bank on that after Thunders are out too. Uh, but basically the goal is to potentially stall Pikachu out of Thunders and then just set up with Dragonite and Dragon Claw Wing attack through the team. Um, I think I only need to get plus three, um, but we basically just get plus three and then try to punch stuff. Um, Hariyama's here to be able to deal with the Snorlax, and Payapa Berry's here to maybe let me take a hit from Espeon. I don't actually know if that's happening, honestly. Uh, but Fake Out is here for extra chip as well if I need to, and Strength is here to deal with the Charizard if I need to. Spiritomb is my main answer to Espeon with uh, Spooky Plate, Shadow Sneak, and Sucker Punch, and Shadow Ball, and Dark Pulse. Uh, mostly here to deal with Espeon, honestly, because I didn't really have a great answer for it otherwise, but it can be helpful as a pivot for other stuff as well. Charizard is here to mostly deal with the Venusaur, but is also fast and can be able to deal with a lot of stuff, honestly. Uh, Flamethrower, Roost, Air Slash is pretty common coverage, and Sleep Talk is here specifically for if I get into a position where I'm worried about Sleep Powder on Venusaur, um, because then I should be able to just uh, click stuff and be good from there. Um, and then finally, we have Politoed, uh, mostly meant as a Blastoise counter with Whirlpool, Parasong, Ice Beam, and Surf. Um, ah, also, should be able to deal with Charizard, um, depending on the health that I have remaining at the end of uh, dealing with the Blastoise. Um, and Lumber is here, so I can guaranteed get the Parasong off at least um, and not get frozen. All right, so it says it's running about 20 more seconds of ads. So let's do one last save. <sighs> do the final battle of the Storm Silver Nuzlocke. Oh. <sighs> All right. It says we're back from ads. But because of the weird stream disconnect, it's going to potentially try to run them in the middle of the stream or in the middle of the battle. But I don't feel like waiting another like eight minutes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to battle red and I'm going to snooze that. Everything has items. One last time. Leftovers. Pyapa Berry, Leftovers, Spooky Plate, Charcoal, Lumberry. Everything's healed. <sighs> Let's do this, red. You're challenged by red. Holy shit. Level 94 Pikachu. Okay, this is perfect. It, I wasn't sure if that hail was going to start first, honestly. But the fact that the hail is now gone means that Blizzard's not a factor at all. 
Um, this thing should be going for Grass Knot, so we're gonna go ahead and count some Thunders here. After Grass Knot, of course. Do you have a pen over there, by any chance? Like a writing pen? Yes. Thank you. Thunder, one, grass, not two after this turn. Okay, so as I mentioned before, the plan is to stall this Pikachu out of Thunders, uh, which we've used two already. Um, Thunder has 10 PP and not 5. Redeem to hydrate, I will hydrate in just a second. So this should be Thunder number three right here. I think I'm going to split these pivots with Charizard also. Yeah, because Dragonite's already taken a decent amount of damage here, and I still have another seven to go. Um... That should be fine. One more round of Thunder Grass Knot. What the four each? I may be able to get a roost off on the turn that red heals if I can read it right. Um, get Charizard again. Okay, um... It is using Endeavor already, okay. What does that actually bring me down to? 78, Jesus, okay. Um... Okay, so 
I'm thinking what I need to do here then... Is play this extra safe. It's running ads, god damn it. Okay. This gives me time to think at least. Um So he's half out of Thunders and Grass Knots, but the problem is since he mixed in an Endeavor there, my pivot amount is limited. Um, I think what I need to do... Okay. I think I need to make a read here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pivot Leah on the next Thunder, and then as Red dips into Red, he should heal, which should allow me to get a Yawn off, which should allow me to be able to get into Dragonite Roost. Okay, I think that's the play here. I don't think he goes back-to-back -back endeavors. It's not actually going to do very much to Dragonite at this point. Oh, it didn't actually drop him down, though. Um... Okay. Let me count how much this Grass Knot's actually going to do to me. I really wish I went Rindo Berry on this. Um... Crest on to 76 to 89. Um, actually, wait a minute. I think I'm still okay, because if he does go for an Endeavor here, it only does, like, minuscule amount of chip damage to Dragonite, and if he heals, then he won't be going for Endeavor. So I don't think I actually need to risk Leah at this point. Not yet, at least. I may at some point, but not right now. I'm at least healing off exactly as much as I'm taking in sand damage. Um, if I knew for a hundred percent certainty that Red was going to be healing here, Roost would be a pivotal play. But I think because there's a potential for another turn before Pikachu actually gets healed with a full restore, I need to pivot one more time. Okay. If I would have guaranteed known that Red was going to go for the full restore there, again, Roost would have been the play, but... Okay, this should still be okay, because he has four Thunders left. Okay. And he's at more health now, so he shouldn't be going for Endeavor as often. And if I absolutely have to, I could potentially risk... Oh wait, no. Pikachu's getting hit by Sand first, which means that it outspeeds me. Which is a good, good thing to know. Alright, so that should be one more round of Grass Not Thunder, right? There should be three thunders left.
two thunders left. One eighteen down to ninety nine. One eighteen down to eighty two. Okay, so there should be one thunder left if I counted this right. I might do one more pivot just to guarantee. Probably, I guess, if you're done. Alright, there's the crit that I was kind of worried about the entire time. With all this pivoting. Okay. So I think the play here actually is pivot Leah, pivot Charizard, sack Charizard, and then go Dragonite. That should be the last Thunder. So this Grass Knot should knock out Charizard here, which should give me the clean switch. Blue with a resub. Two years. What a time to resub. We're in the middle of a red fight. 07 salute to Charizard. You did unbelievably well this run, buddy. <laughs> On the off chance that I counted incorrectly here, do I pivot one more time? I think I need to, because now that Charizard's gone, I'm pretty committed to this Dragonite sweep, and I need to make sure I'm not taking a Thunder here. Um, but do I have enough turns to set up if I do that? I think I can afford to make this pivot one more time, and it's worth it to make sure that I don't. Okay. That might kill Leah here, but I needed to make sure that... Oh, it didn't. Okay. Um, the fact that it didn't actually is a little awkward. I guess I go for a slack off in case it endures for some reason, but I think Leah drops as it goes for another grass knot. Okay. So, 07 salute to Leah also because I needed to just verify that it actually is out. I need to roost here. And I need Grass Knot not to crit a couple of times. Ideally, if Red heals here, that would actually be great, but I don't think Red heals twice on the same on. But I, like, absolutely need to get a Roost off first. That Endure is huge. Now I think I just try to get as many Dragonites up as I can. Or Dragon Dances up as I can. That's what I was worried about, but this is fine. 
After another Dragon Dance, I should be able to just roost again. Please live the chip, oh my god. Also, do I outspeed it plus one? I did not even check that. I think plus one and more health is better. Thanks, <sighs> go. Okay. I don't know if plus one's enough. I think I need a dragon dance again. And I think it lives another turn to chip. And then I roost. And plus two I think should be enough. Is plus one enough? Let me just check really quick. Charizard level 90. No, I need plus two. Go for Endure again here, Pikachu. Yes! Holy shit, that is huge. Okay. What are the conditions for Endeavor? I have no fucking clue. Uh, it is whenever it feels like going for it. Okay. I think at plus two. I should have kept Earthquake. Okay. We didn't get static paralyzed. That's fucking huge. Okay, plus two Dragonite. Buddy, I need you to go in here. Dragon Claw. Please, Oko Charizard. That's going real slow. <sighs> Charizard's down. Okay. We did not have very much for Charizard, so that's pretty fucking huge. Blastoise. Blastoise is bulky. Blastoise might live. Oh, Blastoise lives. Plus two Dragon Claw only does 72 to Blastoise, it looks like. Um, if I switch out here, do I have means to deal with the rest of his team? Pikachu's down, Charizard's down, Blastoise, Venusaur, Espeon, Snorlax. I need to keep Dragonite alive to deal with Venusaur, because Venusaur is pretty scary right now. 
and I have a dedicated answer to this in Polytoad. Do I give up the plus two here? I think I do, because otherwise I don't really know how I deal with the Venusaur. Okay. So Dragonite, you, I think, have swept as far as you're going to sweep. I don't think it makes sense for me to stay in here and click Dragon Claw again. Because then I'm, like, really weakening myself to a Venusaur sweep which is the scariest thing I think I have to play around right now. Blizzard is only 50-50, and I was hoping to be able to take advantage of that right now, but I think it makes more sense for me to switch Splee. I was really hoping to be able to sweep everything with Dragonite, but this is why we brought the backup for everything. It landed the Blizzard, so that would have absolutely killed Dragonite. We resist this, and we also have a Lumberry in case it froze us there. Blastoise outspeeds, but Blastoise really can't actually do anything right now, to be perfectly honest. So, we're just gonna go for the Parish Trap here. I'm also Water Absorbed, so it can't even hit me with Hydro Pump, really. And we whirlpool you. Thanks for the HP. Nice shot. <laughs> Big crit. Damage does not matter. If I can maybe... Oh, no, I'm not going to get it in damage. I'm going to go for a Surf anyway. Just because it can't really do anything to me. And like, Yeah, the strongest move to hit me is Signal Beam right now. Which, of course, crits. Okay. So, if it's going for Signal Beam right now, I get to take advantage of Parish Trapping one more time here and go into Hariyama, who should be baiting Espeon to come in next, who I have an answer to in Spiritum. Let's go, Hariyama. Shouldn't be going for Hydro Pump, shouldn't be going for Blizzard. It might go for Blizzard, I guess, but I am Thick Fat. Signal Beam's big. Honestly, you, even if it confuses here, I'm switching out anyway. Or I might go for... Uh, Back-to-back -back crits on the signal beam is a little annoying. <laughs> I might as well get Fake Out and Sand Chip on Espeon just to guarantee that Shadow Sneak actually kills. I'll get some Fake Out Chip. Which is actually doing a lot more than I thought it was going to do. If Fake Out did that much, uh, Spooky Plate and Shadow Sneak should be able to pick this thing off after another turn of uh, Sand. I think even with the Piapa Berry, it should be going for a Psychic there, which allows me my switch into Spirit Tomb. Okay. Um... I would Sucker Punch to guarantee the kill here, but because it could go for a Reflect, I'm just going to go for a Double Shadow Sneak, which should be enough to be able to pick this thing off. Okay. Honestly, that's fine. Sandstorm's picking it off, so that's perfectly fucking fine. Let's let Venusaur and Snorlax. Okay. How much do I need to chip this down for Dragonite to be able to kill with Wing Attack at neutral? 51? Oh, that's level 100. 
64. Okay. So I go for a Shadow Ball here. Yeah, I go for a Shadow Ball here, chip it into range of Wing Attack. Swords Dance is scary, but Swords Dance is okay, I believe. I want it to kill me on this next turn. That should be enough. Let's go. Ah, okay, so it should be going for a power whip here. We now give the biggest fucking 07 salute to Splee, who absolutely walled that Blastoise, but is now going to go down to a power whip here. Um, this gives us the clean switch into Dragonite, which allows us to go for a wing attack, which, according to our calcs, we should be able to kill from here. Go for the wing attack. This is the reason we went with wing attack specifically over fly because I didn't want any fucking- That didn't kill. Holy shit, that's bad. Okay, this is quad resisted, so we should be able to live here. Um, but that is going to put it in range of another heal from red, I believe. So, I think what I need to do is I need to Dragon Dance on this turn. Do I Dragon Dance or Roost on this turn? Actually, I think I have Roost on this turn. Okay. Since I outspeed already, I think I just go for wing attacks. Because it should be a 2 at KO at least. It's really close to not. Um. But we learned that red doesn't heal twice on the same mon, so I think even though this Venusaur is plus four, we go for another wing attack. Do we tank a plus four power whip with this thing? Sleep powder. That's sketch, but okay. Red, you hate healing here, right? Oh, he used another one. Okay, that's sketch. Uh, this is a little worrisome now, because now I'm asleep and there's not really a way for me to wake up. This is the reason I had sleep talk on uh, Charizard, but... How much is a plus four power whip doing? 247 down to 161. Okay. Please just let me get one more wing attack off, Dragonite. Thank fucking God. Is that a crit? That's not a crit. 
Holy shit, Dragonite, that was huge damage right when we needed it. Uh, okay, Red. If you're gonna heal, dude, you're gonna heal again, but I just spam Wing Attack, Sucker Punch, and Close Combat with Ariyama. Venusaur is gone. Plus six Venusaur. Holy fucking shit, that was scary. Whew, this red battle is no joke, y'all. <laughs> uh, okay. So, his last mon is Snorlax. This Snorlax has Rest, Sleep Talk, Body Slam, and Crunch. So what we're gonna do... Is I think we're just gonna get Wing Attack Chip, Sack Dragonite, and then go Hariyama on the close combat. The Snorlax is all that's left. Dragon Claw is more damage. <sighs> okay, this is probably like a four hit KO, honestly. That did more than I was expecting it to. Para is fine. What we're gonna do here? Oh, fucking seven salute to this Dragonite. This Dragonite was everything for this run. Um, but I think what I do is I sack it here, get the clean switch into Hariyama, pick it off with a close combat. Crunch is fine. If I would have known it was going for Crunch, I could have actually just pivoted hard in. We almost could have gotten another hit off there. The Sandstorm rages and takes another member. 07 salute, Dragonite. Thank you so fucking much for everything you've done this run. And now... Hariyama comes in. Hariyama clicks close combat. And we are fucking done, y'all! 16 badges. Red. No wipes. No items in battle outside of held items. Crit doesn't fucking matter. Get out of here, Snorlax. Get out of here, Red. 07 salute to everything that dropped in that fight, but we are done with Storm Silver. You did it? We did it. Woo! Thank you. Sorry, I hugged tight there. No, you scratched me really hard with that. <laughs> I hugged tight, I scratched tight. Ow. That was intense. Bun, <laughs> Bun absolutely is the best supporter ever. Uh, thank you all so fucking much for everything in that run. We're snoozing. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scratch you so hard. I didn't mean to scratch you that hard. I'm sorry. I love you. Uh, I feel like we played that fight next to perfectly, honestly. Vincent, thank you. Everyone who resubbed during that, thank you. <sighs> Y'all, we started this Nuzlocke September of last year. It's been 13 months. And we are finally done. We beat Red. No items in battle. No overleveling. Honestly, we went into Red pretty underleveled because Pikachu was level 94. We could have gone to level 90. I think it was hype as fuck that we only went to 90 instead of 94 because it ended up making for a really, really, really good ending battle, honestly. I'm really sorry, Baby Bun. If you need to take a break after this to... Yes, I do. We've been going for over two hours. Okay, well... Sorry, my stream cut out at some point, so I, it only said a half hour for me. Um, okay, well, that'll line up nice. Um, I'm just going to let these credits keep running, but thank you all so fucking much. This was an unbelievable journey to be able to get to the point where we were able to hardcore nuzlocke this game. 16 badges is a fucking lot of badges. Um, red is obviously a very, very hard battle. And I feel like we did everything that we needed to to be able to get through that battle um, safely, quote unquote. If we would have gotten crit a couple of more times, um, we might have been in a kind of more awkward spot, honestly. 
I also probably didn't need to do that extra pivot um, to sacrifice the pep out on. But like, the only thing that would have really fucked up that sweep was getting paralyzed by a thunder. And I absolutely could not risk it at that point. So I think we did everything that we needed to do to play around all of the risks that we needed to play around. I feel like we built a good team for red. I feel like we needed all the fucking firepower we had up here. Um, Hepaudon, Politoed, Charizard, and Dragonite. Oh fucking seven salute to all of you. Um, Dragonite was an unbelievable MVP of this run. Swept through like half a Kanto, swept through the Elite Four, did some work in red, um, both as a quad resist and then also as a potential uh, Dragon Dance sweep that I had to stall out Pikachu for. Um, Charizard was there as an extra pivot and honestly would have been pretty cool if I was able to keep it alive, but that's okay. We're at the end. We're done. So, with that, um, I'm not 100% sure what our next Pokemon thing is going to be for everyone who's here with Pokemon, but we're going to take a quick break and come back with some Bun Bun 3 design, which is an SNW hack for those who don't know, um, that I'm working on to, uh, for the way that just came over here and hugged and supported a lot. Uh, thank you everyone who's helped out with this run. Um, also, shout out to Pokemon Challenges because I wouldn't have been able to get through this run without them. Um, we're going to take a quick break. Thank you.